let's move over. Let's let's stay in the Big Twelve. Let's talk Oklahoma State at Kansas State. All right. I'm a. I'm really liking Kansas State in this spot. Our fur bounce back game. Oklahoma State, dude, defensively, they're garbage. I mean, garbage. Pulling up the stats right here. They're allowing 461 yards per game. They're allowing 22 first downs, which is 114th in the country. Over 280 yards passing per game. They've allowed 180 yards rushing per game. They're allowing six yards per play. And I know a lot of this came against Arkansas, but I don't think it's just Arkansas, you know? They're uh, offensively, they just have not been able to get Ollie Gordon going, and I don't understand what it is. I really don't. And I, I guess Kansas State, we saw a linebacker for BYU have su- excuse me have success in the ground game, but no one else really. Kansas State only letting up two point eight yards per carry on the season. Offensively, they haven't been able to throw the ball. But look, if Oklahoma State's going to let up four and a half yards per carry, DJ Gins is going to say, "Hey, my turn. All right, my turn." All right, he's going to go in there. He's going to absolutely dominate. Avery Johnson as well. As I see him being on the ground, serving as a big deal. This line has dropped from six to four and a half, and I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I, I'm I'm in shock. If this drops any further, I might have to throw it on my, my board. No That's kidding. Four and a half? It's at four and a half now from six. So I, I might be... Just be on the lookout. I'll I'll post on Twitter, but this might be added to my board. No joke, because I don't understand how. Give me Kansas State to win, Kansas State to cover. <laughs> You're t- like these are these are not. This is a crazy overreaction. This is a crazy overreaction. People box score sniped Oklahoma State and what you tell people box score sniped Kansas State and BYU, which obviously BYU thoroughly destroyed them there. But turnovers, right? It was bad. Third down efficiency, like it. Okay, listen, I guess Vegas knows what they're doing, but maybe we could take advantage here eventually. Yeah, well, what are you ta- you're, you're taking Kansas State as well, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I Like you said, I like it the way Arkansas thoroughly just sn- just cut right through them. The all game, all game. And if you're telling me Taylor Green to Quinn and Jackson, like I see similar kinds of guys there with Avery Johnson and DJ Giddens. Dylan Edwards and that running game of Kansas State. If there's one thing we know about them, they're, they're going to be running the football. And even against BYU, you couldn't get Johnson going through the air, but Giddens got going on the ground a little bit. Obviously, some concerning things have happened so far for Kansas State, but I do not think this will be the game where those trends continue. I see a bounce back game. And Oklahoma State, man, like we, we talked about in our Utah recap with, with Oklahoma State, you have to establish the run early in this football game on the road. You cannot have Alan Bowman or Garrett Ranger or, or Ringel, whoever you want, whoever's back there trailing and trying to play catch up. Even though I really like Presley Owens and Shribling, those are not the quarterbacks to do it. This is not the offense to do it. And by the way, you mentioned it too in our previous video. When are these six year seniors for Oklahoma State going to step up and start just? road grading like we saw them open up holes last year i know ollie gordon's a special back but he would also love to have some help too and he obviously has a lot of attention there i think it would help i think if you can establish a run you can get bowman settled in and he can have a good day throwing the football against this kansas state defense which you know can be vulnerable at times i don't see that i I don't see it happening here but not through the air but but not so like arizona I want to go back to that game, right? When they were one-dimensional and they couldn't run the ball and they relied on, you know, just having one good receiver. I know Oklahoma State has a multitude of good receivers. It just didn't happen for Arizona. And slowly and slowly, Kansas State just crushed that Arizona offense and defense just by running the ball, man, just by running the ball, which Lord knows, I think Oklahoma State's run defense might be worse than Arizona's. That's very possible. I don't think I have a big enough sample size to really determine that yet, but I am not liking Oklahoma State's defense. And I like BYU's defense. And I think Kansas State, look, the interceptions were killer. If Avery Johnson takes care of the football, I see them having zero problems with Oklahoma State. Kansas State, minus four and a half. Give it to me. If I I mean I'm a We'll see. I might take it at four and a half, but I 
if that drops somehow any further. I don't think it will. That's the thing. So I think if you are going to get it at this number, I think you have to get it at four and a half. Yeah, because it's five in some other places. Yeah, and you're going to get minus 112 in some places here. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling in about a couple minutes here. All right. So, yeah, any last thoughts on this game before we move yeah, on? Yeah, real, real quick. With Arizona, they, they moved the ball. The problem was was sustaining and keeping finishing drives. And if you're one-dimensional, it's really hard to do if you're not going to be extremely explosive, right, to just throw the ball seven, ten times on a possession and score a touchdown is really, really hard. If you cannot – or have at least a threat of running the ball. Like you said, if you're one-dimensional – Really, really tough for Oklahoma State to get going against Kansas State. Here's what I will say, though, too. If Oklahoma State does get a win here and Avery Johnson and his offense continue to struggle, at what point do we start panicking? Because, not panicking, but maybe rearranging our expectations for Kansas State and Avery Johnson because... I'd rearrange them right then and there. Yeah, I think you have to. I think this is a pivotal game. I think they know that. I think Chris Kleiman knows that. I think Avery Johnson's a gamer. Did DJ Gins a monster at home? Let's get going here. I can't say get back on track, prove that you're still, you know, among some of the leaders in this conference. Yeah, 